Hello everyone, Brian Trepanier here. I'm going to try to make a monster in 3D Max and bring it on into Doom 3. Start by making a box in whatever viewport you want. And uh, we will convert that to an editable poly and work with the uh, polygons. Or yeah, extrude. We'll extrude this one and F4 to show what we're extruding. We're just going to make a quick little character. And where would I be here? Let's put another one there. Another one. And uh, we'll inset this and extrude for the arm. And once more, that should be good. And we can cut out of this point and come on over to the side here. Let's select these. I guess not all the way down there. Let's take it to there. Delete those. We'll select the border. And uh, we can just move that out. Come on up to the top and back to Polygon, and we'll extrude this one, two, three times. Select those, delete them. Uh, well, my front view is actually backwards because I have, uh, like I said, it's not backward yet. I haven't swapped it over. I don't want that. I want that there. On the zero, I'll just effect pivot and right click there and zero the pivot. Turn off the pivot. And this is going to be our monster in a sense. Uh, come on back over to this area down is symmetry. Let's sh show the buttons. It's not even there anyway. Find the symmetry. There it is. I guess I don't need these buttons on right now because my screen is so tiny. Everything's zero, that's fine. Uh, I guess in here I should stick an edit poly go to the vertex and do a little bit of shape to it. from the front. Move these out a bit. And off-click on that, otherwise you can't go to perspective just by hitting letter P. It aligns instead those vertices that would have been selected to P. That's fine. We're done with the character. Let's uh, throw an edit poly on top of that. Come on back to the front of viewport, get rid of the grid, and uh, we'll collapse it. Let's turn that grid on and come on up to here, right click, home grid, set that to 16, 8 and 8, and that shows us the size of the uh, game measurements and character basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that'll be good size. Leave it like that. Uh, don't need that on. We're going to convert that to an editable mesh. Don't have to, but we are. Uh, throw one of those on top. Actually, I want to throw a mesh smooth on there.
and then let's call it dude low. Now give me that edit mesh and collapse it to there. And that gives us 1616. Okay, and it's a good size. And if we, uh, I'm going to do this right now, turn it so it's facing the right way. This is the front viewport in Max, so I'm going to turn it 90 degrees, face it that way. Slide it over like this. And uh, again with the pivot, I'm just going to zero it. Now I have this set to Alt Q, so it goes to right. Don't need that on. But I am going to save this. And I am going to export this as an OBJ. Nope, got one there already. Nice. Save. Yes. Uh, materials now. Normals, sure. Smooth groups don't have any. Save it as quads. Six. And OK. Done here. Going to go into ZBrush. We're in ZBrush. Come up to Tools. Click on this icon here. Throws it over to there. We're going to import. We'll head up to, uh, we guess it would be in 3D Max, Meshes, Dude Low, Open, drag it out, uh, letter T, to, try to uh, edit it. I want it to stand up this way. It's going to be really skinny, but that's fine. We'll leave them like that. And I'm going to have to just deal with the fact that I don't have access to all the tools that I would need for doing stuff because of the screen size. Geometry, divide it, divide it, divide it. Let's see how many divisions, 51,000. We can do another one. Make it 260. And uh, we'll just put some detail into it. Let's make a face of sorts. Can hold that in. It's just to have something to create a normal map out of. We'll come zoom. Well, let's uh, do that. Do that. And we'll drag them down like this. Actually, we'll just leave them right up like that. We'll go on to alpha and throw that over here as well. Project and master. We don't need this. We'll turn on, no, not, yeah, double sides, okay. Uh, deformation, normalize, sure. Drop now, it's gonna drop that down. We're gonna pick a new alpha. We'll take this one. Let's make this a little smaller. This will just stamp on some design. So you can create your own in whatever program you want. Projection master, pick up now. I'll have it on both sides. We will export, cancel, we will not export that. We will export that, dude high, save. Yeah, we're gonna replace it. It's writing the object, the OBJ. And when this is done, we will go back into 3D Max. Back in 3D Max, up to file, import, OBJ. We'll import the high first. Let it figure its stuff out. Okay, we'll import this one as a single rotate model normals OBJ. Sure, yeah, okay. And that is the way it's rotated. Well, that's the way it is. We will uh, call it dude high and we will hide selection file import dude low open multiple just in case everything the same okay just click on part of it everything is just one so that's cool let's um, unhide all and Rotate 
rotate it. Let's go Alt W and rotate it to angle. And I'm only moving the one, of course. Select everything and keep rotating it until it goes all the way around. seems taller than I remember. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I don't have not This is a new one. Okay. So that's all cool. Except that's not. Select it all. Can't. Select one at a time. one here but I did so now I will just move everything up back into here I've got two selected so I can't do it letter H to bring up the box of selection which would be this one here. Uh, I'm going to hide the top one there and this bottom one I'm just going to come into here and I'm going to UVW remove everything and I'm going to, is it collapsed yet? I'm going to reset X form. Collapse to there. Now what I want to do is probably save this. Save it as dude, sure, I don't care. Yeah, overwrite it. Uh, I want to add this come into here, show buttons. Add an unwrap UVW. And now I can hide the buttons. Go to face. And I'm gonna go do a point to point seam. Get rid of the grid by pressing letter G. Select there. Let's see. I wanted the perspective mode. Let's see how far I can do it. That's pretty good. That didn't work. And there you go. There's its. Uh, well, no, actually, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna cut it there. So let's cut the foot like that, and like that. Okay, back to face, we'll uh, click on a face and we'll expand face to selection and we'll do a pelt on this, edit pelt map, opens up this box here which is meant for a much larger resolution on the monitor. We'll get rid of the checker in the background and we'll expand this. Move it into place. Simulate pelt. Let's just 
turn us a bit. Let me do that again. It doesn't really matter. You can turn it after the fact, but take care of it now. That's cool. Turn that off. Move that out of the way. Click on another one. Expand to there. Pelt. Edit pelt map. Expand it out. Simulate. Don't know if I need to even go more. Not that it really matters with this particular character. Or many of the ones that I've created. Move that one out of the way. Shrink it down a bit. Or a lot as the case is. Okay, I guess I can probably just select the rest of that that way. Add a pelt, add a pelt map. Watch it stretch it all out. Looks fine. Shut off the pelt. Okay, select all of them. Tools, pack UVs, sure. Let's see what it did to them. Turn them upside down. And turn this on its side. I want the select element. There you go. And this, and this. Again, it doesn't really matter with this one. That'll do just fine. Turn that down. Collapse to edit mesh. It's done. Save. Unhide all. And number zero brings up this box, which is for normal map and other stuff. We're going to select the dude high. If you didn't catch that, rewind. Let's just do its thing. Its thing is done. Cage reset. I always do this at a 0.5. Just keep watching until the cage is out. And start it from there. Use existing add normals map. And uh, sure, let it save it where it's going to save it. Which is C program files, Autodesk images. That'll do fine. Bump, sure. Okay, everything is pretty much set. Let's render. Let's see what a uh, good one right from the word go. No problem. So we can make a larger version. Render. Oh, a little bit of a problem there. So we'll just come on back to the cage and render it once more. Gone. Everything looks good. Set that down. Shut this down. Uh, we'll save this and jump one ahead. See, it became Dudo 1. That's Control S. That's going up to Customize and Customize User, user Interface. Messing around with the stuff in there. I can throw out the projection. I can wet the water off my glasses that just spilt. And I can see the screen. Letter H. Do to high. Select. Delete. Uh, we'll go up one more. Do to 2 now. And this here we'll just call it Dude. So I'll come on up to uh, 
the render over here and just render off this scene. That's what it looks like. Now we'll come to the RAM player, stick that one in there, drop that down. And now letter M. Hmm. I want to get to the maps area. Excuse me. And bump. I want to add a normal bump. Normal bitmap. And here it is. Apply it. Show it. And let's render it. And open it up into the RAM player. OK. And there's our normal bumps. That's OK. Don't need it. And it should be hopefully on the back as well. I don't want to press F9. Have it. Yeah, so it's got its bumps on the back as well, but it's still the 1600. 1616. 16. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is save it and rig it. So I will come on into the area here, bones, front. Want to uh, create a layer here. That's this tool. Create new layer. This one here, I'll just uh, rename it to mesh. This one here, I will rename it to bones. This is the one we're going to work in. And I will freeze this one as soon as I say for it not to freeze in gray. OK. Now with the uh, bones, I'll create them so that they're small because they just fit better into this particular uh, grid size. And I'll start one here and click and come into here. So I'm going to lose those last ones. That's not the best setup for that, but that'll be fine. We will create spine stuff and neck and head and that's enough. Come to here, I'll call that bone head nub. As it turns out, those actually are called nubs. Kind of nice. Call that bone head. Let's call this neck control. Okay, well this will be spine zero. Okay, uh, one more bone just off of here. This one here is called hips. What you want to do with that one is move it so it's lined up really nice with that. And then you want to actually attach that one to that one. And we'll come back to bones. This here we're going to recolor it red. And that first one it'll be called bone R thigh. I recolor it red just because it's right. Bone R calf.
That'll be a uh, foot. And toe. That will go to the front view or right as it is here. Just like that and move it on over. Create one more bone that is not part of that and lines up nice there. Don't need the last one. This one here we will attach to this one. And I guess I could just save that and change it all color wise at that point. Now this one here, that is bone, our hip, and I have this uh, bone tool set up to control B, but I believe you get it in character bone tools, yeah, or shift B I should say I have it, uh, bone edit mode, uh, actually not yet, let's go to the front viewport, see, I totally screwed up on that, <coughs> I want to select this one, Deselect that and let's slide that over into place. Now we can select this one and attach it to there. And this one here, bone edit mode, I'll go to the front first and move it so it's nice and in the center there. Go to the front viewport, and uh, it looks like it's all fine. And turn that one off. I can now link that to the hip bone as well. Set that down. Hip bone, I want to make a different color. Definitely not that color. Something bright and noticeable. Uh, don't get confused. Okay, bones back to here. We're gonna make a, uh, a clavicle or a shoulder, up arm, low arm, hand. Let's go to the top viewport. Everything looks good. Uh, back to this one. Rename them. This is Bone R Clav. Now, if you rename your stuff the same here, it'll uh, Bone R. It'll make using the articulated figure easier. Don't need the hand nub, but we'll stick on there for now. Bone our hand nub. Okay. Uh, so now I would Oops, don't need that. What do I need? I need that thing selected. I need to be somewhere doing something. I want a mirror mode. Oh, <laughs> but, duh. I don't need a mirror mode. I just need the mirror tool here. Uh, copy and OK, and the same for this, whoops, I don't want bones, same for this one, OK, now these ones, blue, and rename them, and I always start with the right side because the L is closer to the delete key. Maybe somebody has a script or something that'll 
automate this idea. Left hip. Left thigh. We're almost there. Save that. Now I'm just going to throw some IK on. Uh, drink some water too. I have mine set up so I can just select a bone and right click and it's going to be right here. <coughs> but you would get it in animation IK solvers. HI solver, click on the heel, creates that, which is just too big. So make that 10. Now again select this bone, HI solver, down to there. Save that. Now this isn't a good rig setup or anything but it'll do. And I actually want to create a new layer and uh, rename it to IK and add the selected objects so I can hide them if I want them independently of the bones. Now with that in place we'll just save it and I should be able to grab this bone move it and the IK holds everything still good. Front one more bone to create and this one, actually two more. One, actually, not two more bones, but two more objects. I'm gonna go into this dummy object area, point, turn on the grid, and uh, it's actually gonna be touching the ground all the way. But we're gonna deal with that. That's the way this one is. Well, it doesn't have to be yet, actually. I could just, cause he's not skinned or anything. There, now he's touching the ground. Save that. Uh, dummy point box. Let's make this uh, 10. Put it there. Good color. We'll zero it. Okay. And we'll make a, uh, another point. Make this one 15. Give it a different color. Okay, and that one will be called Master. And that one will be called Origin. Now Master, I don't think, will be zeroed yet. And Master wants its own layer okay bones has origin in it okay so we can hide that and I want to select that I get to the origin and turn on the master and now I will select origin and link it to the master and I will select the two IK chains and I will link them to the master
So now I should be able to click on the origin and it will move the whole skeleton except the IK and if I click on the master it will move everything including the IK I'll save this I will come on up to here turn on add the skin modifier IK I can hide, master I can hide, and I can just get rid of that for right now. Skin modifier is on, so I want to add all the bones. Now I want to adjust the weighting of those bones, so I'm going to come on up to here and just drag a uh, grace standard on there. And letter H, I'm going to select all the bones. Well, I guess I could do it from my uh, layer manager because I can hide those. Just work with the mesh and uh, edit envelopes, turn on vertices. Now, I don't want this selector, I want this selector. And I definitely don't want the origin to have influence on anything. So I select the verts and erase them eventually. Won't happen quite yet. Set off the G. Turn off the grid. So I'll select this one. Well, first I want to display, show no envelopes. There. Now I can do what I want. Just uh, give it a little bit. Actually, all I really have to concern myself with is those. This here seems to be doing fine. side. Let's give this a little more influence here. If not everything. this will look like but move on down as long as everything's contained that's all I really care about That seems fine. This is what I was looking for when I was thinking about a mirror mode. It was in the skin area. 
I'm confusing my processes. Wait, I'm not done yet. Let's uh, completely remove everything from that. Now I'll come to the mirror mode and I'll spin it onto the Y and I'll move those over, move those over and now it's all hopefully good. Back to here, you can show these bones. We'll freeze this, turn off that. Show some IK. Come on, show some IK. That's yeah, kind of weird up in here, but whatever. It's going to be fine. You deal with your own creatures. This isn't about artistic endeavors at this stage, except helping you get your stuff figured out. And quite frankly, I'm happy with this one. Okay, so if I click on... Oops. Something is not where it's supposed. Something is being influenced by the origin. So we'll come on back over to here. Skin. See if it'll actually cancel it out. No, I have to just actually come up to there. Do it that way. That should take care of it. <laughs> that took care of it, all right. Okay, again, the butt area here is kind of messed up, but that's fine. I'll do what I wanted. So we can save this and do a walk cycle. We're getting pretty disappeared off the screen. Pretty close. Actually, we could do one right now if we wanted. We can... Uh, well, first I will select this. Yeah, select that one, diffuse, bitmap. I'll just give it this as a bitmap. Yeah, let's go and take this thing into Photoshop, actually. Uh, okay, that thing is selected, so uh, control U. You don't have this, probably. You get this at script spot.com PSD path and wrapper uh, we'll call this uh, dude wire and unwrap sounds good we're gonna go into Photoshop okay we're in Photoshop we'll uh, come on and open up some pictures the wire a uh, picture of the creator and mastermind and genius and all those things godly with the Doom and id engine and uh, the normals map that we created. So we uh, just bring those on into Photoshop and we can start by going to the paths and picking out the paths and then you can see them and we'll come down here and we'll cut out Mr. Carmack's head and try to treat him a little kinder than he was treated when he was portrayed as that grisly old man in that movie, which was quite entertaining. Come on into here, and we'll just expand it and kind of slide it into there. That looks good-ish. And we can uh, 
just come over to here, layer properties, and we'll call that John Carmack. Maybe make it fit a little better. Doesn't really distort it all that much, you know, considering. And now for this part here, this is the body, and this is we can just color it in on a new layer in whatever fashion we see fit. And usually they take a little more care in doing this, but it's not all that important with what's happening here. And I wouldn't necessarily take all that much more care either. Get some red because red is so nice. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I might be way off base on what I'm coloring and everything. Well, it must be the back of the head, of course. So this is the back side, not the front side. Let's color it all red. Back of the head. We can paste another picture of Mr. Carmack and stretch him out and then just move him into place and then we can erase the part of him that we don't need and we can leave it at that now we'll uh, save this and this here was supposed to be used as a guide and this is where I wanted to go into the the channels and use the channels and uh, copy that over but we'll do that or you can figure it out yourself actually yeah just go to poopinmymouth.com and check out Ben Mathis or Mathis I'm not sure you say your last name no offense intended believe me you know if there was um, Excellent tutorials, check them out, and uh, good Photoshop stuff. Uh, we're done with this. We're out of Photoshop. We're going to go back into 3D Max. Okay, we're back in 3D Max, and here's the model, and we can check it out. Just do a quick render. That's what it looks like. And now we will get a walk cycle happening. Letter G. Let's get me my layers. Set this to 25. And this can go to 24. We'll set that to 24. And auto key select will freeze the mesh and select uh, one of the IK. Haul it forward. That's the problem with the uh, way I have the IK set up is the foot will go through the floor like that, but we're not going to be concerned with that right now. We're just going to set up our motions Let's take that one and at 12 move that one to say here which means we'll also move this one to here and on 24 I want to go back to 12 actually and lock that one there now we'll come at 24 and we'll move that to there move the origin to there and doink doink Again, his feet are going to go through the floor. 
not my concern. Uh, at this point, we'll put that down a bit. Stick some similar points, 12, so this one we can stand it up. That one we can stand it up. IK, couple here, we'll just pick that up off the ground. And then a couple before, we'll keep it up off the ground. This one here, that's yeah, still pretty good. Okay. Now this one, a couple there, we pick it up off the ground. Let's get that up off the ground. That's a little too much. Looks a fine. We can get into a little bit of uh, Hit motion. A little bit with the arms. There, key it there, and at 12, we'll throw that one ahead. Key it. Oops. I'm saying here you can do whatever you want. Okay, we go back to the front and we unhide the master and we turn on the grid and the entire purpose of the master is to zero the origin. We hide the master. That's it. File save. I really shouldn't have saved it over top of that one, but I did. So yes, I did save over top of that one so to get out of the situation because I need the T-pose with all the rigging and that. I am going to come on up to here, the skin area and advanced properties and save, save this as uh, dude envelope. Okay, and now I can go on into this previous one no continue and select that add the skin hide the buttons add the bones and uh, load the envelopes. Okay. So if I freeze the mesh, it didn't do a thing. Skin. I guess this would help have it on. Load. Open. Okay. Now, if I freeze the mesh, Everything is as it should be, correct? Yep. 
Yeah, it's nice and messed up just like it was. Okay, so we're going to save as initial. Now we'll go back to this other one. And we will save as walk one. Now we're going to open initial and uh, what did I set it at? That was the other 24 and the other one too. That was okay. We can make that 80. Okay. File save. And now what I want to do is file save as idle one. And idle one is pretty easy. Pretty free form. They all are. Uh, that's what I want. Okay, actually, let's open up that layers and let's hide master and hide IK. And that's frozen. Let's give it some movement. Of course, don't be quite this. Okay, there we go. That's its idle. Looks good. And now we'll uh, cut that to, let's say, 14. And this one. There's its attack. Awesome attack. Okay. Unfreeze that. We can hide all this stuff. Select. And I've got it set up now. So, dirt on tools. Right here, which you would get them by going to the Mac script. Export anim only. Scenes, no. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter where I put them now because I have that as a right click. Thanks to, oh, I can't think of what your name is on Doom 3 World. Dom, Domacritus or something. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, desktop, DBase, models, MD5, monsters, dude. And which one is this? This is attack one. This is the error that it gives. So what I do is I'll close it, I'll open it, I'll export anim only, and this time I will call it number five, and it'll work fine. 